Okay, with this Zoom, we are going to start with, I'm already in Zoom, so we're going to share my screen, share the desktop, so students can see either the teacher or the teacher's desktop top or wherever you point the camera. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start Zoom by clicking the icon. If you don't have the icon, then you need to download it just from the Zoom website, and you can Google that, or it's probably something like zoom.com or zoom.us. So here's the options when you want to start a class. <clears throat> you can start immediately. There would be an icon right here, um, but since I'm already in a meeting, you see this. Okay. Schedule, um, or you can also join a meeting that's already in session by clicking Stop sharing my screen. Okay. Now, this would be um, if you're a teacher and you wanted to see the students. And so now I have the camera pointed at the students. The very transparent students. Okay. So I'm using the camera. Now I usually manipulate the camera manually just with my hand, but there's also a remote control like this one that goes with the uh, equipment that we have at our center. Okay, and there's various controls like zoom in, zoom out, um, volume control, uh, mute, take a picture, things like that. Okay. So you can also do this um, from a computer that has a webcam, but if you're doing a class, it's best to use this <clears throat> video camera device that we have from Long Tech. Okay, so this is the speaker, and so you'll hear the other students through this speaker, I don't know, or the speaker's up there. It's connected to that. Okay, so in this, when you want to set this up, it's so easy. Like, I, I was very intimidated when I first seen it, but uh, once I set it up, it's like, wow, I can do this. My eyes closed almost. Okay, so you have this thingy here. Um, it's connected to this don't know the tech term for it, but this thing, um, it has some wires in the back, uh, one going to this device, uh, one going to the camera that I'm holding, uh, one as an input to the computer. So this one would go into the computer, uh, and this connects, I'm sorry, this one connects the power. What you do is basically just plug it into the outlet. Hopefully, uh, and then uh, plug it into the computer's uh, USB port. Okay, so that's simple. Okay, so here's the directions. Do do do. Um, and it's not very clear, so it doesn't really matter. But this is what the directions look like if you can't figure it out. And it also has other options and things that you can do as well. And that is blank. So you don't need that one. So you can that and then you can share your screen. So if you have some type of project that you want students to see, bring a whiteboard, share screen, bam, you have a whiteboard and you can write stuff on there. You can change the little options. You can text box, you can draw, you can spotlight to highlight things that you want the student to um, see. Also use the arrow. Okay. You can erase something if you've made a mistake. Pretty colors. Um, made a mistake, you can also undo, redo, clear, save. So let's say you want to go back to the screen. You're going to click on stop share. You can also pause. Also select something new. So if you want to go into document 
thumbnail. Go an iPad. Oh. <clears throat> Here's a desktop. I'm gonna browse the internet. Do that, and the students will be able to view everything. 